We're at Durandurra Truffles, just a 10 minute drive from Braidwood to visit truffle farmers Dick and Virginia. We're going to explore their truffle farm and show you what you can experience when you visit their farm. Let's go. Hello, I'm Dick and this is my wife Virginia. We are from Durandurra Truffles, one of the local truffle farms in the Braidwood area. We're both interested in nature, so we're interested in all things farming and uh, growing truffles is fun to do, it's exotic and we like to share the journey with other people as well. Yes, and they, they just love to see a dog working. I just say, Bella, find truffle and she runs to a tree, she paws and then Dick goes and looks to see if there's a truffle. Well, people like the idea of going on a hunt. Now, this is a different sort of hunt and they're full of mystery when they come here. And when they see the first one come out of the ground, they're absolutely enthralled. We're at Laird de Wombat Truffles to have a chat with Trisha, who runs the truffle farm with her husband, Rainer. Trisha, can you tell me a little bit about what you do here? We grow and cultivate harvest winter black truffles. You take lots of people on hunts in your truffle farms. Can you tell me a little bit about their reactions? Oh, the excitement from people seeing their truffle in the ground, seeing our dog Barry just wander along, make a mark on the ground, and then we bend down and there's this truffle. We get so many oohs and ahs from everybody. We tend to take it for granted because we're seeing it every day through the winter, but it's great to have these people share this joy with us and learn about truffles and just how magical they are. We're off to check out our next truffle farm, Tarala Truffles. Damien, can you tell me a little bit about what people will experience when they visit you at Tarala Truffles? So when you arrive here, our dogs usually, you know, greet you noisily. And then once everyone's rocked up, we go out for a truffle hunt. We harvest a few truffles, uh, bring them back to the kitchen here, and then we cook up a degustation. They're an incredibly unique product. My favourite thing is that first hit of truffle for the season. It is extraordinary. And when you get that smell, it kind of brings back every fabulous meal you ever ate with truffles. And I, I do enjoy that. The lovely thing about this area too is we're just out of a little town called Bungendore. There's several galleries. There's some great restaurants in Bungendore. It's really turning into a little tourist mecca. You can spend a day just wandering around Bungendore. Blue Frog Truffles in the Queanbeyan and Pellerang region, just north of Canberra. And we're going to have a chat with Wayne to find out more about his truffle farm. So Wayne, can you tell me a little bit more about Blue Frog Truffles? Well, it was a, it was a retirement project. I bought the block and then realised that I had to do something with it. So then I heard about truffles and I thought, that's it, I'll, I'll go with truffles. And I thought, even if it doesn't work out, at least I'll have a lot of nice trees. What is it that you love about truffles? Well, I think the most amazing things about truffles, of course, is the aroma. And truffles are a bit like red wine. They, they've all got their own particular flavour notes. So we have husbands and wives arguing about which is the best truffle based on the aroma. So it's, uh, it's very interesting. Thanks for joining us to check out some of the truffle farms in the Queanbeyan Palerang region. Check out the website treasuretrail.com.au to find out more. <laughs>